Hey, what's up, everybody? I figured I'd get a chance to share my thoughts on The Amazing Spider-Man, which uh, is another movie that's, you know, I guess, how would you say, like, milestone year, which is celebrating its uh, 10th anniversary over here. I'm like, wow, where does the time go for all these movies? Well, the, the idea of Amazing Spider-Man was a reboot of the Spider-Man film franchise, which, you know, five years after uh, Spider-Man, Three, which of course also celebrates an anniversary year since that particular movie is uh you know 15 years already but in the case of the amazing uh spider-man that was initially conceived you know as you know spider-man 4 and uh if my memory serves correctly it was supposed to serve you know kirk connors was supposed to be like the main antagonist uh you know, for the you know, Toby, you know, for the fourth Toby uh, McGuire installment, until uh, negotiations fell apart between uh, Sam Raimi and you know Sony, because at the time he didn't feel uh, he would have been able to make the you know the May fourth, twenty eleven deadline for the movie while still making a quality uh, product. Well, anyway, uh, this time around, uh, Spider Man. Is, mantle is taken over by andrew garfield and in a sense there's kind of like some changes with the uh character which in which the character has like more video dialogue and it's not like the organic webs that come out of the skin but he makes the organic web uh shooters and uh you know may and uncle ben are given a little bit more depth and you know may is portrayed as a little bit younger you know compared to the toby mcguire you know, version which Aunt May look more like his grandmother than his aunt, and of course, uh, the film also mentions Peter parent Peter's parents, which weren't uh, really mentioned that much in the Sam Raimi uh, trilogy, and of course, uh, instead of having Mary Jane Watson in this iteration of Spider Man, it's, it's uh, Peter's love interest uh, is uh, Gwen Stacy, of course, was played by Bryce Dallas Howard. In a more supporting role in Spider-Man uh, 3, but this time around when uh, Stacy's uh, Peter's main uh, love uh, interest. And, of course, the movie serves as, like, another origin story uh, for, you know, Peter Parker, but a slightly different uh, take on the character. And in terms of what I think about it, I mean, it's not a bad movie. I mean, I mean Andrew Garfield does a decent job. You know, playing the part, and of course, his chemistry with, uh, you know, with Gwen, uh, you know, Stacy, is you know quite, you know, incredible. And you know, like I said, it's still a pretty, uh, you know, decent action film. Look, it's much better than the Amazing Spider-Man two that came two years later, which, in that particular case, was plagued by the same problem uh, Spider-Man three had, uh, being plagued with. Uh, too many villains and of course Emma Stone you know actually is a good Gwen Stacy and it's nice to see her character you know fleshed out including her relationship with her father you know Captain you know Stacy you know who's played by Dennis Leary in this version and the police captain who was previously played by James Cromwell in Spider-Man uh, 3 and you get to see Gwen's uh, brothers in this one which wasn't seen in when Bryce Dallas Howard uh, portrayed the role of Spider-Man 3. So, uh, like I said, overall, it's it's not a it's not a bad reboot. I mean, I mean, even though, quite honestly, personally, I would have preferred a fourth installment of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man uh, franchise. Particularly, the reason why I say that is just the way the third movie, even though it kind of wraps it up, but it kind of left it more like on a solemn note. Like, even though things would work out. It kind of felt a little gloomy and depressing, but it was to show that in that particular film that uh, Peter and you know Mary Jane would somehow find a way back to each other and work things out. So that's my take on Spider-Man. Sorry, The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Ten years later. So that's that. All right, everyone. Thanks again.